Hey jammers, Rear Fireplace here, back with another Animal Jam Play Wild video. Just kidding. We are out of Animal Jam Play Wild in this video. Shocking. <laughs> but anyway, what are we doing then? Well, we are actually going to see how I edit and what program I use. So first, the program is... Kai Master. Hooray. Just, just kidding. It's not too good. No, no offense, Kai Master. For an iPad editor, yes, it is good. But in general, it's okay. But I, but it can be a little confusing when first getting it. So I'm gonna be t doing a tutorial on how to work it and basically use all the functions and make AJ Play Wow videos with it. So first. You go in, and for example, you can't just walk around your ma. Oh no, you want to have a green screen. You have to go to your den and dance for a few seconds in a solid color background. Probably red, for example. Maybe the aquarium if you don't have another den, which is super old, super super old. Um, try not to have it the same as your animal though, unless you want half of your animal dancing. But anyway, after it starts, after that, starts the fun stuff. Yep, it's super fun. You get to go into Kai Master and create a project. Find your clip. Okay, so next, after that, we will pick how long we want it and look through effects. And video layers, too. <laughs> so you can layer videos or photos. In this case, right now, we're going to layer a video. So, if you wanted, like, maybe this little background thing, you can just, like, go poof and upsize it in the layer. So, upsizing the layer allows you to just basically see your entire video through that. You can't have a layer longer than your main. If that happens, then you have to either extend your main or cut back your layer. If you don't do that, then your layered video will not show up, your layer won't show up, and it doesn't matter what you do, it won't show up. So you have to just extend it, extend it as long as you want, but if it's a video, you have to go and get more clips of the video for the main. And layering can also be used for effects and many other things. Like, such as right now, I'm dancing, do do dance, and I can also trim or split at the playhead. Splitting at the playhead allows me to like, maybe I wanted to cut out some audio, recording, or one of those things. If I want to do that, then I'll have to split at the playhead, or maybe I just like want a cool boom effect. Yeah, like that. But anyway, so you can also do that, but I mean it's your choice, and this would be the chroma key. Chroma keys are used a lot, especially if you do intros and stuff, but they are mainly used for, like, you want to remove a color completely. Of course, the color that I removed is red, and red is a part of pink, so uh, you'd have to, I have to kind of mess with it and uh, tweak it to get the right color line. If I don't do that, well, no more color. You can also add music to your backgrounds through the sound. You'll have to go download the music and give credit to the owner, of course, and or ask for their permission. You need to ask for their permission. And um, you also need to, you can do like split screens. I personally don't do them. But <laughs> my voice is kinda raspy today. You can also use the mixer. And the mixer allows you to change what the audio does. You can maybe take out the audio. Like, some of the voice audio things I used was just like, do, 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 music, for example. And this is the in animation, which like, basically when it comes in, that's when this animation kicks in. So without that animation, it's just like, you're just gonna go poof. And then that's the overall animation, which will happen throughout the entire video. And you usually want for jitter a fountain your one character with a green screen and green screen that. 
but yeah. And you can also add text through the layer as well. Know that whenever you hit the like you're doing the little effect, you'll want to cut it back to after the little blue piece where the effects go, and then I have my intro. But if you don't do that, then it won't turn out as good. And there's some of the pictures of my little chibi art. Hi, Joe and Kiwi. <laughs> I'm recently starting to try and draw chibi. I don't draw on AJ because that. No offense, AJ. Your art tool isn't that good. Well, anyway. Continuing on with this video, I added the background effects that you can use through the effects screen. And, well, bye guys. Ooh. 